Hey everyone, so this is going to be a requested video um, and it was requested by Treaty that I do a very quick, sort of get ready quick makeup um, tutorial. Something that you can just throw on in the morning and just like sort of run out the door or if you've got something busy, if you wake up late, um, if you're a busy mum or anything like that and if you're at school as well, you know, it's a nice simple look to wear. So please bear in mind that I have no makeup on right now, I am going to start from scratch so it might not be 5 minutes or anything like that but I will, um, I will try and get it done as quick as possible so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do then before I go ahead and apply any sort of makeup onto my skin or any moisturiser onto my face, I take the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub, okay which looks like that and I just take a little bit onto my finger and then you just want to massage that into your lips all right once you've massaged that into your lips it will get rid of all the dead skin and it should feel a little bit softer I'm just going to apply a little bit of Vaseline and that just makes your lips um, nice and soft and ready for when you have to apply any lip product your lips won't be dry and horrible so the next step then is to just, I'm just going to pin my hair back just so I can moisturise my face. So you can see my face is really, really bare and horrible without makeup on. So I'm going to take, um, this is the Astral All Over Moisturiser Cream. And I just take a little bit onto my finger and I just dab it onto my face. I try not to use too much because I do have dry skin but this can leave your skin feeling a little bit oily um, but it's fantastic for dry skin so I really do like it so you just want to go ahead and massage that into your skin alright so the next step then you can see it's left my skin feeling a little bit shiny but I'm gonna apply some concealer and then we're gonna apply some um, face powder and it will just matte everything up so I'm going to use the um, Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in, sorry, number 4D, I don't know if you can see that. And this is just going to go under my eyes and around my nose. And then you just want to work that in. Alright, next we're going to take a um, face powder. I don't use foundation, so that could be your next step. Maybe if you use foundation, you can go ahead and apply that. But I'm just going to buff in some face powder into my skin just to set the, um, the concealer underneath my eyes and to make my skin a little bit less shiny it's very very shiny once you put on moisturizer Next, it is time for eyebrows so i'm gonna go ahead and groom mine and fill them in um you can do this exactly how you wish and i'll be right back with the rest of the look Alright, so once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and actually prime my eyes with a little bit, uh, my eyelids, sorry, with a little bit of concealer. Um, I'm just using concealer today just because I want a blank canvas and not like a shimmer one or anything. And the Gosh Waterproof eyeshadow tends to be a little bit shimmery. So we're going to go ahead and use some concealer. For eyeshadow then, I'm going to take um, a trio eyeshadow from Collection 2000, which looks like this, and this one is in number 20 Eclipse. The, the white is cracked, so you're going to have to excuse that. But you get a really nice, um, sort of a silver colour, a black or dark grey, and the white. So the first colour that I'm going to take then is going to be the, um, the silver colour here. I'm just going to get that onto a flat shader brush and you just want to apply that onto your lid. Okay so once you've got that silver on, it looks very white on camera but it's not, it's silver. 
Um, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. Now, all my brushes have just been washed, so they're very nicely shaped at the moment, but it will get a little bit fluffier once I've used them. And I'm actually going to take that darker grey colour, which is this one here. I'm just going to swirl my brush in that, tap off any excess, and we're just going to put that into the outer corner and just blend that in a little bit. Alright then, once you've done that, I'm going to take a slightly larger flat shader brush, or you can take an angled brush, and I'm going to use the white colour as a highlight. So that's just going to go underneath my brow bone, and I'm going to blend it down. Okay, so I'm going to take then next the um, Cold Pencil, Pencil by Barry M just in black and I'm just going to line my upper lash line And then taking that fluffy blending brush again, um, you can pick up a little bit more grey if you wish. I'm just going to run it over that line a couple of times just to soften it up a little bit. Alright, so next you're going to want to apply some mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some. And I'm going to be using the Collection 2000 Volume Sensation mascara so I'll be right back. Alright so this look. is a final look. For cheeks I just used the Gosh Natural Blush in number 39 Electric Pink and then um, for lips I applied the Barry M Lip Paint in number 136 which is just this gorgeous 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 um, almost like a caramel colour but it's slightly lighter and it's very very sheer as well which I really love. I really like that. Uh, lipstick and then on top of that I just used the Barry M lip gloss in this is a limited edition one so they don't actually, sh actually sell it but there's you know just a clear gloss over will suffice um, so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful and sorry it turned out a little bit long um, you can cut out I mean, if you're going to school and things like that, you can cut out all the different colours on the eyes. You can just wear one colour and sort of just blend that out. Um, but apart from that, I hope it was really helpful, and I'll see you guys very soon.